In the world of bond funds, one name has reigned supreme for two decades. Now PIMCO's total return fund has lost its crown to Vanguard's total market index fund. The scoreline currently reads Vanguard with 117.3 billion of assets to PIMCO's 110.4 billion. I'm joined now by Pauline Schiepler to discuss why investors have deserted PIMCO's flagship fund in favor of Vanguard. So two years ago, PIMCO had nearly 300 billion worth of assets in their bond fund. Now it's down towards about 110 billion. What explains this, what is, appears to be a dramatic fall of grace? Well, people started taking their money out of the PIMCO fund soon after the Federal Reserve t said it was going to be tapering its massive bond buying program. And they started tapering in the following September. Then we saw Mohammed El Aryan leave PIMCO in January last year, and that was a big shock and a surprise, and ex the withdrawals accelerated after that. We then had the so-called Treasury flash crash in October last year, and again, that scared people. So PIMCO has also had performance issues with its fund. It's an actively managed fund where the bond fund manager makes decisions about what to buy, what to sell, and makes big calls on the market. Bill Gross, the high-profile fund manager, made big calls on the market, and some of those were the wrong calls, and the fund was uh, trailing its competitors in the rankings tables. Um, it's picked up a little since the new three-man team took over at PIMCO, but people are still taking their money out. So then does it really come down to the fact that investors no longer trust the activist type model? They think people like Bill Gross have lost their touch and therefore it's just better to go and follow something by Vanguard which just follows another benchmark? That's been one of the big trends we've been seeing in the market over the last few years. We've seen people desert actively managed equity funds as well as actively managed bond funds. And Vanguard has taken in astonishing amounts of money over the last several years. It took in the record amount last year compared to other funds. And the other big factor, I suppose, is that obviously a lot of people focus on how much Bill Gross and Mohamed al were being paid when they were at working at PIMCO. And it's quite clear that PIMCO and actively managed funds charge higher fees whereas Jack Bogle, who created Vanguard, is a massive uh, advocate of low cost. How much has that factored in, do you think? I think that's a huge factor. John Bogle always said that costs matter. Vanguard charges just seven basis points for its fund. PIMCO charges 85 basis points. That's a huge difference. And yes. investors now seem to be taking that on board and acting accordingly. Now, when we talk about investors who are buying these bond funds, who are we really referring to? I mean, is it average people, retail? Uh... Well, for Vanguard, Vanguard has a lot of retail investors in its funds, and it's also big in the pension fund market in the US, the so-called 401ks that company pensions go into. And so therefore, a lot of its money might be stickier than perhaps the people who invest in, in PIMCO. So they stay longer, they're less likely to be driven out of the fund by what they might see as short-term fluctuations in value of the fund. And then, of course, the other interesting angle to all of this is how the baby boomer generation are now retiring. Uh, I've seen some figures talking about 10,000 boomers a day are retiring in the US. That's an enormous amount of people who are looking for safety and a low-cost alternative to park their retired or retired savings. I mean, how much of a factor is that playing out, do you think, in this sort of move towards passively managed funds at Vanguard? Well, clearly, these people are going to be looking for an income in their retirement. They're looking for a low cost a way to get that income and therefore Vanguard funds make a good choice for them in that respect. Also I mean, we are going to see a huge number more of these baby boomers. The proportion is expected to rise from 18 percent at present to 27 percent in 2050 so there will be a lot of money going into that bond market and quite possibly into Vanguard funds. Great Pauline well thank you so much and I suppose time will tell just how much further the Vanguard Fund will continue to outstrip PIMCO or whether at some point, perhaps with central banks changing policy, we do see a shift back towards the activist type model rather than the passive funds that are advocated by Vanguard.